police. Nine one one. What's your emergency? There's been a crash. Two cars collided at high speed. It looks serious. Can you provide the exact location of the accident, sir? I'm at the intersection of Fifth and Main. There are people injured. Please send help quickly. Help is on the way, sir. Are you at a safe distance from the accident? Yes, I've stepped back. But there's a woman here screaming. She might be in shock. Try to comfort her if you can, sir. Do not move anyone injured unless there is an immediate risk. Understood. Oh no, there's smoke coming from one of the cars. What should I do? Do not approach the vehicle if there's smoke. Is everyone out of the car? I can't tell. Wait, I'm going to check. Stay on the line with me, sir. But remember, your own safety is priority. Can you see anyone inside the car? There's someone moving in the driver's seat. I think they're trying to get out. Tell them help is close. Keep a safe distance. The fire department and paramedics are on their way. I will. Please hurry. It's really bad here. Oh, I hear sirens. They must be close. They are, sir. Keep speaking to the injured if you can. Reassure them. Stay on the line until they've arrived. The ambulance is here and the firefighters too. They're taking over now. Thank you for your help. You did great, sir. Thank you for your quick action. We'll take it from here. Be safe. Electrician. I've checked your wiring, and it seems like your circuit breaker needs to be replaced. It's pretty old and worn out. Oh no, that sounds serious. Is it dangerous? We've been hearing strange buzzing noises. It can be dangerous if not dealt with. That buzzing sound is a telltale sign. Good thing you called me in when you did. What's the worst that can happen with a faulty breaker like that? Well, in the worst case scenario, it could lead to a fire. It's not something to take lightly. Fire? Oh my, we need to fix this immediately. How soon can you replace it? I can have a new circuit breaker installed by tomorrow morning. I'll make sure everything is up to code and safe. Please do. And could you check the rest of the house, just to be safe? Absolutely. I'll do a thorough inspection. Safety is my top priority. Thank you, Mike. I'm so relieved we caught this early. You're welcome. It's what I'm here for. I'll get started on this right away. Is there anything we should do in the meantime? Just avoid using any high-powered appliances until I get this fixed, and you'll be fine. Influencer. Really nice to see you, Casey. Thanks for agreeing to collaborate on this campaign. Are you ready to shake the internet? Absolutely. I've got some fresh ideas that will get our followers talking. Cool. I was thinking about a series on sustainable living. It's such a hot topic right now. I love it. We could start with a challenge, like a week without plastic. What do you think? That's gold. And we can document our journey, share tips, and show the rough parts too. Yeah, keeping it real is what people love about us. No fake glam, just the real deal. Exactly. And for the kickoff, how about a live Q and A session with our followers? Perfect. Let's get the word out and set a date. It's going to be epic. I'll draft the campaign proposal. We'll need catchy hashtags and some solid visuals. On it, I'll start sketching some designs and setting up the storyboard. Thanks, Casey. This is why I love teaming up with you. Creativity flows. It's going to be a blast. 
Let's inspire and make a change. Agreed. We'll catch up tomorrow to finalize the details. Dentist. Honestly, I was just enjoying my salad when suddenly, crunch. I think I chipped a tooth. It's so embarrassing. I have a major client meeting next week. These accidents happen, Emily. But let's take a look and see the extent of the damage. I'm worried it's going to look noticeable. We could do a composite bonding for a quick fix, or a veneer for a more lasting solution. If the tooth is badly damaged, a crown might be necessary. I just hope it doesn't hurt. I'm a bit of a chicken when it comes to dental pain. We'll make sure you're as comfortable as possible. First, let's do some x-rays to assess the situation. Then we can discuss your best options. Okay, let's do that. I trust you, Dr. Fisher. You've always taken good care of my teeth. Appreciate your trust, Emily. Let's get you in for those x-rays, and we'll take it from there. Thank you, Dr. Fisher. I just hope it's nothing serious. Don't worry, we'll handle it. I've seen worse cases, and they've all turned out just fine. You're in good hands. That's comforting to hear. Okay, I'm ready for the x-ray now. All right. After the x-rays, we'll sit down and go over the images and talk about what comes next. Let's aim to have you smiling confidently at that client meeting. Sounds like a plan. Lead the way, doctor. Just follow me, Emily. We'll have that tooth fixed up in no time. Thank you so much. You're a lifesaver, Dr. Fisher. Just doing my job. Let's take care of that smile. Receptionist. Hello, I've got a reservation under the name Anderson for tonight. Good evening, Mrs. Anderson. Welcome to Grandiose Escapes. Let me pull up your booking. One moment, please. Sure, take your time. Oh, and could I request a late checkout for tomorrow? I found your reservation. As for a late checkout, I can extend it until 2 p.m. Would that be all right? That's perfect. Thank you. Also, the booking mentioned a complimentary breakfast. What time does that start? Breakfast is served from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. in the dining hall on the ground floor. Great. And one more thing, the room. Does it have a view of the ocean? Let me check. Oh, it seems like your room does not have an ocean view. However, I can upgrade you at no extra charge. Would you like that? That would be wonderful. Thank you so much for your help. It's my pleasure, Mrs. Anderson. Here's your key card. If there's anything else you need, do not hesitate to call the front desk. I'll keep that in mind. Have a good evening. You as well, Mrs. Anderson. Enjoy your stay. Businessman. Tyler, you have to be aware of how discussions come and go. Stay calm, no matter what. I get that, Mr. Harrison. But how do I know when to push and when to yield? It's like a chess game. You need to think several moves ahead and anticipate the other side's strategy. Right. I have to be strategic. And if they seem disinterested? That's when you present the value proposition. Make them see what's in it for them. Okay. Value proposition. Got it. And regarding our initial offer, should we go high? Always. But not unrealistically high. It's a starting point for dialogue, not a final offer. Makes sense. This is a lot to take in, Mr. Harrison. I appreciate the guidance. 
you're welcome. Remember, business is about building relationships as much as it's about the numbers. I'll remember that. Thanks for taking the time to explain all this. Of course. Let's win this deal. Now, go prepare and we'll review the contract terms once more before the meeting. Will do. See you in an hour, Mr. Harrison. See you, Tyler. And call me George. We're a team now. Flight attendant. Excuse me, the air conditioning above my seat isn't working. It's quite stuffy here, and it's making me feel a bit unwell. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll check it immediately. Meanwhile, may I offer you a glass of water? That would be helpful, thank you. And I was also wondering about the vegan meal I requested. I will bring your vegan meal right after sorting out the air conditioning. I sincerely apologize for this oversight. Thank you. Also, could you check if my seat can recline? It seems to be stuck. Of course, I'll take a look. We want to make sure you're comfortable for the remainder of the flight. It's been a rather long day, and these little issues are just the cherry on top. I understand, and we'll do everything we can to improve the rest of your journey with us. Here is your water, and I'll return shortly with an update on the air conditioning. Derek, could you also provide a blanket? It's a bit chilly with the air conditioning not working. Certainly. I'll bring one for you right away. And I'll also inform the captain about the seat issue. We may be able to offer you an alternative seat if this one is uncomfortable. Thank you for being so attentive. I hope it's not too much trouble. It's no trouble at all. It's our responsibility to ensure your comfort and safety. I'll be right back with your blanket and some updates. Driver Hi, are you here for the ride to the airport? Yes, that's me. You must be Samantha. Please have a seat. Do you have any luggage? Just this carry-on, thanks. Oh, it's a bit hot today. Could we turn on the air conditioning? Of course, let me adjust that for you. Is this temperature comfortable? Much better, thanks. How long will the drive be? With the current traffic, we should get there in about 30 minutes. Is there a specific airline you're using? I'm flying with Horizon Air. And could you please drive a bit slower? I'm not in a rush and I get car sick easily. I apologize for that. I'll make sure to drive more gently. Do you need anything else to feel comfortable? No, that's all. Thank you for being considerate. You're welcome. If you want, I can also offer you some water or a mint to help with the car sickness. A mint would be great, actually. Thanks a lot. No problem at all. We'll be at the airport before you know it, and you'll have a smooth flight. We're here at the airport. The drop-off area for Horizon Air is just ahead. Perfect timing, Alex. And thanks for the mint. I'm feeling much better. Glad to hear that. Do you need help with your bag? No, I've got it. How much do I owe you for the ride? The app will take care of the payment, but any tips are always appreciated. Of course. You've been a great help. There. I've added a tip through the app. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic flight. And if you ever need to write again, just look for Alex on the app. Will do. Take care, Alex. You as well. Goodbye. Editor I need the edited manuscript on my desk by tomorrow morning.
We can't afford any delays. But I only received the manuscript yesterday evening. It's over 300 pages. This deadline seems unrealistic. Unrealistic or not, it's what the client wants. You know how important this account is for us. I understand the account's importance, but quality work requires time. Rushing could lead to mistakes. Do the best you can. Stay late if you have to. We're counting on you, Emily. I'll do what I can, but I'll need support. Can we bring in a freelance editor to help with this? Fine. I'll authorize overtime pay for a freelancer. But this can't set a precedent. We need to meet our deadlines. Understood. I'll coordinate with the team to ensure the manuscript is ready by tomorrow morning. Good. Remember, this is a high-stakes project. We're all under pressure here. Pull this off, and there might be a bonus in it for you. I appreciate that. I'll update you on the progress first thing in the morning. Cashier. Good evening. Did you find everything you were looking for today? Hi, yes I did. Thanks for asking. I'm also looking for some batteries. Oh, batteries are just in the next aisle over. I can quickly grab them for you. What size do you need? Double A batteries, please. Just a four pack should be enough. Got it. Here you are. Anything else you need help with? No, that should be everything. Wait, do you have any fresh basil? I forgot to check. Yes, we do. It's actually on sale today. Let me add that to your basket. Perfect. I'll take two bunches then. And I have these coupons I'd like to use today. Sure. Let's see what discounts we can apply for you. You're also eligible for our member's discounts since you have our store card. Oh, wonderful. I always forget about that. It does come in handy. All right. After all the discounts, your total is $47.23. How would you like to pay today? I'll pay by card. Oh, and could I get cash back as well? Certainly. How much would you like? Just $20, please. And could you charge it as credit? I need to get those reward points. No problem. I'll do that for you. And here's the 20. Would you like a bag for the items? Yes, please. A bag would be great. Thank you for all your help, Mike. You're welcome, Sandra. It has been a pleasure assisting you. Here are your bags and receipt. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. You too. See you next time. Florist. Hello! These flowers are gorgeous. I'm looking for something special. Good afternoon, Elaine. Any particular occasion? It's my sister's graduation. I want to surprise her with something bright and cheerful. How about some sunflowers? They symbolize adoration and loyalty. Perfect for a graduation. That's a wonderful idea. Let's do a mix with some daisies, too. I can add some greenery and baby's breath for a touch of elegance. What do you think? Perfect. And can you wrap them in pink? It's her favorite color. Of course. Give me a moment to prepare the bouquet. Would you like a card to go with it? Yes, please. Just write, to the best sister in the world, congratulations on your big day. Will do. And I'll use our special pen for that extra special touch. You're amazing. Thank you. How much do I owe you? For you, a regular customer? Let's call it an even $50, with the card included. That's very kind of you. Here's my card. Can't wait to see her face. She's going to love it. Here's your receipt, and the bouquet will be ready in just a few minutes. I'll browse a bit more then. Thanks again, Bob. Take your time. Let me know if anything else catches your eye. Content Creator
I'm thinking our next campaign should really push the envelope. Grab attention, but still feel authentic. I agree, Evan. What if we go for a series of short, impactful stories that people can relate to? Love that. User-generated content mixed with our narrative could be powerful. Maybe a hashtag challenge? Yes, and we could feature the best stories on our main page. Give them the spotlight. That's it. Let's brainstorm some hashtag ideas. Something catchy and broad enough to invite various stories. Perfect. Hashtag life in a snap it is. We'll need some prompts to get people started. Ideas? Maybe we ask them to share a turning point in their life or a moment they felt truly happy. Yes, and let's not forget about visual impact. We need vibrant images in a consistent style. I'll draft some visual guidelines. What about the launch? A live event could give us a boost. Brilliant. We'll start a live Q&A, introduce the campaign, and share some examples. Got it. I'm on it. This is going to be great, Evan. I know it. And Riley, your fresh perspective is exactly what this campaign needed. Thanks, Evan. Let's make hashtag life in a snap trend. Singer. All right, let's start with some warm-up exercises. Remember, control your breathing. I always get nervous at this part, Miss Harper. What if I can't hit the high notes? Ella, it's normal to be nervous, but trust your voice. Let's go through the scales step by step. I've been practicing the song you assigned last week. Can I try singing it for you? Of course, I'd love to hear your progress. Whenever you're ready. Stop there, Ella. That was beautiful. Your voice has a unique quality, but you're holding back. Release your emotions into the song. I'm just afraid of making a mistake or cracking on stage. Every singer faces that fear. But the true artist knows how to embrace imperfection and connect with the audience. How do I overcome that fear? <clears throat> Perform with your heart, not just your voice. Let's try the song again, and this time, picture the emotion you want to convey. Okay, I'll give it my all. That's it! Did you feel the difference? I did. It felt like the song was a part of me. That's the spirit. With that passion, you'll shine on stage. Let's continue practicing. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Remember to practice English every day to improve your skills. Watch the video at least three times a week and repeat daily conversations to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Try to mimic the intonation and pronunciation in the video to enhance your speaking fluency and pronunciation. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on my video. Please subscribe to the Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos.